everyone! My name is Coxic. I stream on Twitch and make design and art. I also have a small streamer design store. In today's video, we will get rid of lack and frame drops in OBS that can ruin your stream. It's a little annoying when you set up the noise PC and chatters write about lags, freezers or low FPS and you sit and think, are you trolling me or is there a real problem? And if there is, what to do? If everything is working well for you now, I'm happy for you. However, from this video you can learn about settings that you never knew about before. So, in order to determine the moment you have frame drops in the OPS, go to the view top and select stats. During a stream or a test broadcast, look at this window and you will see if something goes wrong. The flame loss in the display here. There is the number of frame drops. There is the total number of frames sent to the streaming service. If you have a lot of dropped frames and want to choose the Twitch server with which you will have the best connection, use the service in Jest. Link in the description. The service will automatically determine the best server in the list of you. Choose the first one. But if you want to do a more detailed test of the connection to the Twitch servers, then use Twitch test program. Download the program and select the server that you want to test. If the bandwidth is greater than or about 10,000, everything is fine. If below 8,000, select another one server. The next problem is dropped frames due to rendering clock and encoding clock. This problem is with the PC. To figure it out, let's imagine. You start OBS and it practically doesn't consume power. But then you add a com, a game, stats, and the nation widgets, alerts, and so on. This all loads into the system. To stream new game, a good computer is a necessity. Go ahead, how do you render all of this? The choose of the codec is in settings output. The first option is the X264 codec, which means that you will encode the picture using your processor. The slower the preset, the more of the processor it will be consumed, but the better the picture will be. The X264 codec is best used if you are streaming from two PCs at once or if you have an excellent processor that can handle both the game and the encoding. But don't get carried away with this preset. While testing there may seem to be a difference in details, however in practice, these details don't really matter. Do what the power of your computer allows. The next option is the preset setting is Nuancy. If you have a relatively new NVIDIA GPU, then this will do. It consumes less GPU and little bit of the processor. Often, when choosing the NVNC codec, people have a problem with frame drops. Do the following. Go to the OBS folder, find the OB64.x and set the Run as Administrator in the properties of the parameters. The guys have tested this and it's really helpful. A non-obvious reason for frame loss may be the choosing of filter for OBS. For example, frames or video from network folder or the cloud. I'm not sure about the technical details, but I advise you to store the files you need for OBS work on your hard drive. And of course, keep it in mind that less than one hundredth of a percent of frame drops is normal. The main goal is to eliminate consistent frame drops. I hope this video will help figure out lag in OBS and will make your stream better. If you still have questions or problems, write in the comment. Don't forget to subscribe, you can find more videos about streaming on my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye!